Okay, for Halloween, so which is over, Hollow, Hollow, Hollow's Eve. It's Ghosts and Goblins. Basically playing this because this is like supposedly like the hard version of this game, which is saying something because this game is really hard to begin with. I never played this game back in the day, I'll to be honest with you. I, you know, I for, the first time I ever played the original Ghost and Goblins was on the PlayStation. Not on the PlayStation, the PS2. I, yeah, it, was, it wasn't on the Xbox. Yeah, that thing, the collection. It was on the PS2. And I played this version, I played some a few years early, late, earlier. But I never played this game like back in the day. The only one I ever played was Super Ghouls and Ghost. And that was a really, really long time ago. Ah. It's another game, one of those games where you gotta, in order to move, you have to jump. The music's a little faster in this for some reason. Yeah, to jump, you have to be moving, so it's like Castlevania. No, 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 it's like Action 52. It's like Action fucking 52. See, I'm playing this because it's like the hard mode Castlevania. Aw, oh, come on. And it is hard. Da, 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 da. This is one of those games, like, I, I know of it, basically, but I never... I actually was watching the angry, watched a long time ago the Angry Video Game Nerd actually do a play. Ah, oh, come on! It's, again, this game's like difficulty level is like cruel. This is only the first level. That tells you something. It's not an easy game, folks. It's not an easy game at all. In fact, it's one of the hardest games I think, really, on the Super Nintendo. I mean, the, the, the Nintendo. I mean, there were hard games like, um... Oh, come on! That's such a really hard... That's such a hard jump because the controls are... Are not... Are, um... Stiff. Because they're, um... They're that old-style control. Oh, no, I'm, not, I'm naked in my red undies. Oh, come on! Yeah, modern games... It doesn't have the, the modern controls like you're used to, like, where it was a little bit more smooth. I don't think they really, like, perfected jumping in, um, this was before they really, like, perfected how to do jumping. Oh, come on! I tried to go back to get a jump, but it, it's like, it counts as, like, one space, that one, um, gravestone, so you... So you really gotta be, so you really gotta be jumping like a motherfucker. But it's hard to get momentum because to to jump you have to be running or walking, whatever the fuck you're doing. Which sucks because that's one thing I really don't like is that kind of jumping. Ah, that kind of jumping control because of shit like this, where it's a problem. And like you gotta go through that every time you die. Let me see if I can do this, or I have to go the up way. Zombies? Why do so many games have zombies? And this game's got zombies, skeletons, got birds. It's got bats too. On second thought, don't go that way. I think that way is impossible, essentially, because the controls don't allow it. Because they're so um, kind of very rigid. This is why you don't want controls where to jump you have to be moving because you can't do on um, time you can't time jumps properly it's it's next to impossible especially in a game like this where you gotta time the jumps and you have like no space to move which is another problem that's why you don't do it because it's like impossible to time your jumps properly I usually suck at precision jumps like that. We gotta like. Oh come on! You can't really. It's 
That's why I don't. That's why you really have to work on your jump controls in, in a game like this. Oh, good. I, I made it. Oh, there's a bird. It's got birds. And it's got bats. And I'm pretty sure it's got bats. Oh, fuck you, zombie. Oh, come on. I know that red devil asshole's coming up. Where the fuck is he? Ooh. Oh, there he is. Talk about making the game harder. Oh, this is... Oh. If you think this is hard, wait till you see the second one they made. Back here? Great. I'll be doing that next. Ghost, ghouls, and ghosts. Ah, oh, come on, fucking zombies. You gotta be in a really weird position to do that jump, that one jump. Which is off putting. Oh, wait, fuck, fuck that. Fucking bird? It's a crow. A purple crow! Oh, come on. One more time. Really, I don't want to be doing this. That's kind of why I never liked these kind of these games, is that they're just ridiculously difficult. Fucking zombie. Great. Ugh. Oh, wait, I fucked up. Oh, you yeah. fucking game. Yeah, this is hard, fucking. This is fucking impossible mode. That part of the that part of the ground looks like platform, but you fall right through it. That's another thing. Don't put it there. To, that fucks. That's that's bad game design right there. Cause that that part of the the gr that ground stuff is background. It's not a platform, and it, and it fucks with you. See, like, that shit looks like a, like you can stand on it, but you can't. See? That's some bad game. And look, it looks like, and also that gravestone looks like you can, you can walk on it, but no. I forgot that space is basically one pick, one blocks, one space. So if you, if you actually move on it the wrong way, you die. That's, that's great. I love that in games. I absolutely love it. Oh my god. There's probably a good reason why I wouldn't want to play this as a kid. Oh, can you I couldn't imagine that. Oh, come on! I could only imagine playing this game when I was like five or something. Or four even, getting really pissed off and breaking the fucking controller playing this crap. Because Russian attack used to piss me off too, like this. I'm in my undies. Great. I'm like the fucking hero of this game and I'm running around in my fucking undies. And I gotta fight that red demon in my fucking red undies. What shit is that? Oh my god. Ah, stupid fucking zombie!
I don't know what that sound was. I think that's a glitch. Okay, it's all Howl's Eve. Fuck it, it sucks.